Ho ho ho! Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Guilty Gear lovers. Welcome back once again to another Guilty Gear reaction. So, it's been quite a while since I did one of these. I actually don't remember the last one I did. I believe it was for Asuka R. But I am proud and happy to be here again today in the very welcoming Guilty Gear community's eyes to discuss as well as react to the newest Guilty Gear character in Strive, ABBA. I believe that's how you say it. Now, I've heard from sources you say ABBA. I thought it was ABA. I'm not too sure, so I'm just going to say ABBA because that's how I was instructed. Now, I know Adrian has been fiending for this character. Adrian has told me he's been wanting this character, and as the case is with Guilty Gear Strive characters, they have changed her look similar to Elfeld because she was in a previous game. Now, I do not play fighting games, and Lord knows I do not play Guilty Gear Strive, so I believe I can add a fresh new perspective to Abba here. And I can also form views. So either way, let's get into her reveal trailer, and then after her reveal trailer, I also have her starter guide. Now again, I think it's going to be quite interesting for me to react to that and see what she does and kind of comment on it, say if it's OP or not, especially since I don't play fighting games or Guilty Gear, so no, that'll be fun. But if you're here for the reveal trailer, here it is. Let's take a look at it. Some thoughts before we take a look at it, though. Just going off her looks, because I, I saw the thumbnail, right? Abba is some weirdo psycho chick. If she gives me any vibes at all, it's the vibes of Pain Wheel from Skullgirls. And again, I've never played Skullgirls, but I know a little bit of the story and I know the characters because I'm a gaming aficionado. And she kind of reminds me of Pain Wheel slash Harley Quinn, like kind of that crazy girl with a little bit of medical um, thematics going on, kind of like Faust, but not really, and kind of crazy and emo. And I don't mean that in a negative way. But anyway, Abba looks weird, so let's take a look at her. Let's take a look at her gameplay and how cool she's gonna be. Oh, 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 oh. Whatever may come, oh. our love is eternal. Wait, love? Wait a minute. Oh god, ew, she's so ugly. I don't like her. I like they released Elf Elf, which was beautiful, but she's so ugly. Oh god! What is she doing to the key? Oh, she's crazy, crazy. Ew, look at her. Nice breeze. Oh, oh god. That key gets a wreck though, most. Whoa! Ew, she biting her nails? What was that? Is Paracelsus her key? Ew, what happened to her key? Oh my god, she just pushed him on the side. Oh my god, so she's- Oh god, what is she doing to him? Oh my god. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All-consuming flame of jealousy lovingly latched- Fuck. Lovingly latched on homunculus. Okay, so- since last time, I've definitely learned a lot more about the Guilty Gear story than I previously knew. I still know nothing about ABBA. I'm still very confused. And the Guilty Gear story is very convoluted, at least to me. So even though I know more, I really don't know shit. Like, I don't know why there's a homunculus. I barely know about the Gears. I kind of know about Soul a little bit and Asuka are kind of. But ABBA here, God if I know. I wonder if the key's like an actual like person or maybe was a person. I like I have no fucking clue. Oh god. Additional battle stage. Oh wow. Very beautiful stage. Look at that. Oh, and I forgot. So they're adding all these old characters, because I believe Johnny was an old character. Elfelt was definitely in the previous games, and now Abba was in the previous game. So I wonder if the last character is gonna be new or old. Because they seem to have a trend of key, they, they keep adding old characters, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how I feel about Abba. Now, what I do like is that, and what I also, oh my god, look at what she's fucking doing to it. Oh my god. So I think Paracelsus, I think that's what the key's name is. I hope that's what she was talking about. 
and I hope that's the name. It seems like she's really obsessed with this thing, and anything that gets involved between them is a home wrecker. <laughs> so that's pretty interesting. Um. Oh my god, but yeah, what he kind of reminds me of, and by he I mean Paracelsus or whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, he kind of reminds me of Eddie with a uh, Zato. Like he kind of looks like he has like that Zato kind of vibe going on. Like right here. Like he just becomes like goop. Yo, she looks fucking pissed. But anyway, uh, let's see the end here. And we can't even see the end here. Fuck. Guilty Gear always has amazing songs though. God fucking damn. Well, either way, now that that's done, let's take a look at her starter guide. Now, hopefully this will give a beginner like me, even though I'm not going to play the game, some insight into how she is. And I doubt she's going to be bad because she's DLC. Now, granted, that's not, you know, a hard lock thing. Like, she could certainly be bad, but I feel like typically, and I always ask this to Adrian too, because Adrian is like my Guilty Gear Sherpa. Um, I always kind of asked him, like, oh, don't they have an incentive to make the DLC characters kind of better than the normal characters so you kind of buy them? And he said it was not the case and it's very complicated. So I'm not even going to try and touch that, but let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Dude, Guilty Gear characters are so cool. I love the anime style so much. Oh, God, she looks like she's laughing. This ABBA key is getting fucked. Okay, so it is ABBA. By fulfilling certain conditions. Gain oh my god. To enter jealousy. jealousy. And lock the opponent down with her overwhelming offense. So, I hope she's a Russian character. Dude, that key looks fucked. Oh, why are they doing it to Elfelt? Elfelt is one of my favorite characters, visually and lore-wise. Like, I love Elfelt. God. I just added her song to my Spotify, too. Jealous Rage. God. Can switch Look at her, she looks chill. Oh action. god, she looks angry. Using changing and swaying. Okay. Hitting the opponent with bonding and dissolving. Oh Hitting god. the opponent with the law is key. The key whole is king. key like gets While in changed. Rage, Abba gains greatly improved movement, and most oh. of her normals, special moves, and overdrives have different properties. Oh god, she's sticking the her ass gauge out. depletes over time. While in jealousy, she's range, kind of funny looking. I'm not gonna lie, she you looks can hilarious. Gain gauge by enduring opponents' attacks with frenzy and astonishment, or when certain moves are blocked or hit the. The, the only thing I'm kind of sad about with these starter guides is like the guy sounds too formal, especially for Guilty Gear. Like I feel like this guy should be like sounding crazier. Like it really sounds like I'm talking to like a businessman. Opponent bonding and dissolving. Oh God. A strike attack That's what Abba likes to do. Oh god, she inserts him in you. Gauge on hit and enters jealous rage. Wait, wait, let me hear what her freaking like specials do. Hold on. Jealous rage. Improved movement. Movement. And most of her normals, special moves, uh -huh, uh -huh. and overdrives have different properties. Okay, different properties. The jealous say what they are. depletes over time while in jealous rage. Oh wow. Okay. You can huh. gain jealousy gauge. By enduring opponent's attacks with frenzy and astonishment. Um, or when certain moves are drags the key with the her. Bonding what if he uses the bandages to like fight with her. A strike attack hitting to the front. Uh, greatly increases jealousy gauge on hit and enters jealous rage. Jealous rage. After landing this move, make good. I liked use her better when her hair was jealous rage to keep up your offense. She doesn't like that the, the key touched someone else. Oh my Abba god, look at what she's doing! Even when blocked, allowing you to extend your pressure. Be careful though, as it leaves you wide open on whiff. Oh, if you the miss, if you're bad. After landing this move while in jealous rage. Okay, so you could switch back. Okay. Changing and swaying. Oh god. This move can be used while the jealousy gauge is above a set value. So you just use it whenever. Using it enters jealous rage. Okay. After increasing the gauge with oh various God. attacks, Abba looks such as frenzy and astonishment, enter jealous rage to go on the offensive. While in jealous rage, this move can be used regardless of the gauge remaining. It looks like she's like a gorilla character. Some of the like, look at that shit. While ending the mode, Hall and Heed, Ooh. a movement technique with fast forward movement. That's it a can be used oh, okay. to evade I thought that was an attack. 
Use this move to approach from mid-range like while dodge. avoiding the opponent's pokes. Oh, you can God. cancel into it from a normal move to surprise the opponent and get in. <laughs> while in <Jealous laughs> that move rage, is so funny, she just slaps you. extends greatly, making it even more effective as a surprise attack. Wow. Intertwine and tilt. A lunging strike attack with a leap forward. It can be used to evade attacks that hit low while attacking. During Jealous Rage, it travels less distance, instead becoming an overhead. Oh. It launches the opponent high on hit. God. Meaning it looks like a character can that can just into eat you in the air. Or close standing slash. Use this to mix up a blocking opponent. He looks so disgusting. It looks like a fucked Menace up tar lollipop. A strike attack I want to see her ultimates. This move has minimal recovery when blocked, making it work well in strings. God, I really wonder in what her story range, is. Why is she even here? better in strings? Why is it she showing her more ass? Distance, meaning it can hit from mid range. She really sounds like a crazy lady. Oh, Restriction Lord. and constraint can be used as a follow up from midway through the move. Try using okay. them together. All right. Restriction and constraint. A follow-up move from Menace and Groan. Oh. A powerful low strike attack. I'm very with curious to see the movement. jealousy versions. On hit, Je or the jealous it rage the versions. Knocked down there we go. Oh time, my God. Allowing you to continue your offense. During jealous rage, the God. damage increases, and it launches the opponent high on hit, my allowing God. for an even more extended offense. It like comes on her. Be careful, as it leaves you vulnerable when blocked. Oh, God. Frenzy and Astonishment. A move that can withstand attacks from the opponent. Enduring an attack with this move greatly increases the jealousy gauge. Well, it's not a counter. Abba takes no chip damage when enduring an attack. What? It becomes invincible afterwards until the end of the motion. Oh, my God. Find the right timing to endure an attack. Yo, why is she hanging on it like that? Cannot be used while in Jealous Rage. So the key is just taking the be abuse careful, for you. As throw attacks cannot be endured, and damage will be taken as normal. She takes no Judgment chip damage. and sentiment. A powerful strike attack, hitting twice in an area to the front. Oh, only my Only available God. in Jealous Rage. This move can endure attacks from the opponent while attacking. So it has super on armor. Aerial hit, it launches the Look opponent at that shit! To land what? Additional attacks. You can go for big damage by working it into your combos. Oh my god. This move is especially useful as it leaves ABBA at an advantage oh even when blocked. Oh my god. Meaning you can extend your pressure. The law is She's key. She's just like humping key it. Is king. Oh shit. A powerful Bro. strike attack. Oh yeah. Swinging down with Paracelsus. Okay, Paracelsus. I thought it was Paracelsus. Jealousy gauge on hit. Entering Jealous Rage. Oh, it puts you as in Jealous Rage automatically. Started, okay. And is invincible as the attack comes out. Wow. It can be used both in combos. Is that or similar to, to the Monado? Your opponent's block strings. On hit I don't even know if that's rage, the correct name for it, but Paracelsus oh. performs a vicious attack at his full strength. Oh my god! All remaining jealousy gauge. It's like Consider freaking um. I carefully. think it's like. As it ends, jealous rage. What's your name? Freaking uh. Keeper of the key. Not Summons Elf a projectile the from the ground at the opponent's current position. Oh god! Use this as a surprise attack from long range. It summons additional projectiles while in Jealous Rage. Ram Lethal, that's your name. Ram Lethal. Oh my even when god! This move is blocked, making it a great tool for extending pressure as well. Oh wow. Abba struggles yeah. to approach and launch her offense in her standard mode. Due her standard to her mode limited sucks. Focus your neutral game that's why you have so many defensive, defensive options. Okay. Increase the jealousy gauge with long range pokes such as standing heavy slash or frenzy standing and heavy slash which what can a name. withstand an attack. God, Faust looks like a fucking animal freak. Jesus. Use all and heed to avoid high hitting moves or intertwine and tilt to avoid low oh hitting ones God. if you try to approach. Once you have enough jealousy gauge, enter 
jealous rage oh with my. changing and swaying. I think the Temkin should be scared here. Look at this. Go on the offensive. She just goes right back into Abba it. Gains improved movement and extended oh range God. for her jumping attacks in jealous rage, making aerial approaches especially potent. Once you're in, you can make them guess with a high-low mix-up between crouching heavy slash and intertwining. Bro, the way she just slapped you was so funny. Jealous rage ends when you run out of oh, jealousy Oh, God, he smacked games, their ass. Putting you in an incredibly tough situation. Switching between modes as needed, depending on the current jealousy gauge remaining, requires careful decision making. Thank you for watching. Wow. Okay, well, thank you, Ryan Drees, right there. Okay. Well, that's ABBA. Uh, I'm going to be honest. When I saw Elfelt's one, it was a lot more... I don't want to say straightforward, but it was a lot more easy for me to grasp, kind of. Here, I was kind of more lost, but... Again, from what it seems like, her regular base non-jealous form is kind of whatever. You're kind of just like holding out or trying to get what you can in. And then once you're jealous, you're horny and you want to just kill. So... That seems like Abba's gameplay shit. That's pretty interesting. Overall, I really don't like her. <laughs> like, if I ever played Guilty Gear, the only thing I do like about her is she feels like I'm getting the same vibe as Broly from, like, Dragon Ball Fighters. Like, it's just like a giant fucking gorilla that just beats you down. However, she has moments of being a gorilla. But aside from that, I really have no clue. I don't like her looks, her lore, I have no clue, and her gameplay is like half good half whatever at least to me but anyway that's gonna be it i hope everyone enjoyed and if anyone wants me to react to anything please let me know below and please watch me at twitch tv slash technics channel